morning or a good night, depending on when you're watching this. Welcome to my channel, Fat to Keto. My friends call me Jelly. I've lost 180 something pounds on the ketogenic journey. I started off at 368, and we're gonna find out in just a little bit what I am today. Did I go up? Let me tell you, the scale made me cry today. I was in complete tears. And I'll tell you that number in just a little bit. First, I'm going to show you my readings from this morning. Also, I'm going to show you another clip of me showing you what I'm wearing right now. Um, and a before and after little slideshow as well. Okay, so I'm about to step back and show you a um, jacket I got for Christmas. Anyone who watched the around that time frame or in January, do you, you'll see in a minute in a slideshow of me with the jacket. Um, there is no possible way to even begin to close the jacket in any way, shape, or form. It was a long ways from closing, and I liked it anyways, and I didn't care. Now I'm glad I didn't change it in because I was going to. If you shop a Hot Topic, you know the stuff runs crazy small. So I'm going to step back and show you how it fits now. I'm going to move this box that's on the floor. I'm chopping my head off. Let's try this a little higher. Okay. So here we go. This is what it looks like now, and I can put my gloves, my gloves, my hands all up in it. It's nice and loose everywhere. It's not tight, and I love it. Serpents, you know, if you watch uh, Riverdale, you know where this jacket comes from. But yeah, I'm crazy, crazy excited. I can close it. Oh, so happy, so so happy. So by the time I get to my goal weight, it's going to be nice and big. Um, so yeah, I really like it. So I'm going to step back and show you my little outfit that I'm wearing today. I'm having a really good day. You're going to see a lot of clips today in this video. You might have already seen it, depending on what order I stick it in. But this is what I got on right now. My little jean skirt outfit. This is a medium from Walmart. They just, they're selling it this year. So you can see I still have some problematic areas I need to get rid of. But um, I think I'm doing really, really good. So, yeah. Actually, I'm going to put those clips after this. You're going to see. Okay. I'm sucking at making this part of the video. <laughs> I'm really excited and I don't know how I want to lay the video out. So I don't know where you're going to see this at. And you're going to be like, what the heck? But you just get to see how messed up and rambled my mind is today. And you're going to find out why my mind is so rambled right this minute. So I'm going to readjust the camera because I want to sit and talk to y'all. So let me do that right now. Okay, I'm crazy excited that I can get into that jacket. Like, so, so thrilled. When I wore it in the videos in December, it might have been January too, um, you saw in the slideshow I put in a clip of me with it on. Uh, you could see the whole bottom of my stomach was very swollen, the whole top part, there was no closing that sucker, but I still love the jacket. I tried to pretend to close it with my hands. Um, 
and it was so tight in the arms and now I can wear it. So that was an off scale victory today. The shirt is an off scale victory today. Um, the bra I'm wearing is another off scale victory. I bought it a year ago because it was um, buy one get one free at Victoria's Secrets and they're very expensive. So I bought um, a 36 inch that uh, there was no way to even begin to close that thing. I mean, I had a long ways to go, but I knew that once I hit my goal, I will be around 36, 34 inch because even when I was a kid, my rib cage without being fat at all was 34. So, well, you know, like 13, 14. So I figured that's a safe bra to buy for the future and I have it on right now. I don't use straps, so if you're wondering where the straps are, I do not wear strap bras. I never, ever have. The, I have a lot of nerve damages through here and fibromyalgia, and putting bras on are extremely painful for me, but I can wear strapless. I just have to place the band in the back so much lower than most people do, but it's how I have to wear it because of all the stupid points in my body that hurt. I know, totally not keto, but it is because it's off scale victory. I'm about to make some dinner. I wanted to eat at four again today, but my chicken was frozen because I'm making some chicken breasts with the chicken wings and probably the cauliflower again. So I'll do that right after this video. I have had half a collagen coffee this morning. I'm going to have the other half with my dinner. Um, you saw what I ate yesterday if you watched yesterday's video, um, which was three and a half ounces of steak, which is amazing. I didn't get sick. I did cut all the fat away. It tasted more broiled than grilled. I got to figure out why my flames aren't getting high enough on my grill, but I ate it and no sickness. And I ate the radishes and I ate double the amount I did the day before almost. And I ate, um, a serving of the cauliflower with no heartburn, no stomach pains, no burping, no nothing. So my list is slowly getting bigger. So I'm just introducing more and more things to see what happens. Um, I'm going to be doing green beans again this week. If it causes as much burping and stuff as it did last week, I'm going to go ahead and delete them from my list of what I can eat. Not that I can't eat it, but I rather, I don't really like the taste of green beans and I really love the taste of cauliflower now and I hated it before. It's really strange. My taste buds are changing like crazy. Now I don't like the taste of bacon. I love bacon. I was eating 16 slices a day and now I can't stomach it at all. Um, so ever since I've been sick, my taste has done a 180 and completely changed. I all of a sudden hate processed foods. I put a tiny bite of a hot dog in my mouth and spit it right back out because the taste was so gross. Coke Zero a couple weeks ago. I tried to drink a sip of it to get some caffeine for my headache. Oh my gosh, it just spit itself out of my mouth. It was so gross. I felt like I was tasting chemicals. That 11 days of being extremely sick and eating nothing but baked potato, butter, salt, and cr saltine crackers, and I did eat some vanilla wafers, changed my taste buds 100%, and that was over a month ago. But those 11 days of just eating those foods, I've come back out with my stomach being healed somehow and not able to eat anything processed and anything chemically or fake. It's just so gross to me right now. I don't even know if I'm going to like the dupe mayonnaise when I go to make deviled eggs or something. So we're going to have to see. But... I want to thank everyone who made it to the live last night. I'm going to start trying to do lives on Thursday nights, I think. Um, a few of y'all said Thursdays or Fridays, and um, Thursday is a good night for me. So I'm going to try for Thursdays. I don't know the time just yet. Probably around about the same time, like 7 or 8 or something. We'll see, because I've been going to sleep by 8. So I just got to figure that part out still. Um... What else? I'm, a, I, I'm just, <sighs> I guess I'll tell y'all because I can't even concentrate right this minute because let me show you why I cried this morning and what this gal said. It has messed my brain up so much right this minute that I can't even begin to concentrate.
Yeah, I cried happy tears. I am messed up with excitement right now. Um, I am exactly half the person I was when I started keto. I weigh the same as what I've lost, 184 pounds. I've lost 184 pounds, I weigh 184 pounds. The, there could be another person than me sitting right next to me and I would have lost all of her. I've lost all of me. I am just, this is one of my biggest goals. I had small goals, get under 300 pounds, get under 200 pounds. They were, you know, and I gave myself rewards like getting my hair done each time. Um, they weren't my huge goals. And my last goal is 148. Might go under that, but we'll see. So I need to lose 44 more pounds with that goal. But <laughs> this was my huge, big, giant, over the top moon goal that I set for myself was to become half the person I was. So I'm trying to hold back tears of excitement right this minute because I don't want to mess my makeup up. This is a huge deal for me, and I don't even know how to say it any more than that. My baby, he bought me another one of those fairies. If you've ever watched my videos, once it gets here, I will show y'all. That is my present for making um, my goal, you know, the half of me mark, which is to me my biggest goal other than the finale. Um, so he told me I could have whatever I want and everything, and that's what I wanted. I wanted one more of those to match and put up. So this is huge for me. I wanted to have balloons and all kind of stuff, but it is crazy rainy and freezing today and I'm not going out there. So I guess we'll do balloons and, and stuff like that and have a dance party um, when I hit my main goal. But, oh my gosh, like, oh. I'm so happy. Also, I go to the heart doctor tomorrow and I've hit the goal of how much I wanted to lose before I went, go back there. I went like the second week of May and since then I've been there, I've lost 19 point something pounds since the second week of May. So I'm really excited to be able to tell the doctor that because that. you know, April I lost 23 pounds, May was 10 and so far this month already I'm at 6 pounds lost. I'm doing really good on this version. So if you want to know something similar to the way I'm doing it, there's two different things you can look up. Very low calorie um, keto diet, which is where you do under 800 calories a day and you do keto, which means you barely do any fat. So it's 45 grams of fat or less. It is fine to do it. Um, a lot of doctors do subscribe say you can do it. You don't want to do it for like ever. Some people have done it for six months, but I'm not doing it that way. I have polycystic ovary syndrome and not every day is that. Most of my days are 1200 calorie days. I show you everything I eat. I eat all my food mainly in one meal other than some collagen coffees that have like 200 calories each in them. Um, and I have a four hour eating window and fast for about 20 hours a day, sometimes 22, sometimes 19, so it's somewhere around in there. Um, also, if you want help being able to lower your calories that well, look up Mediterranean Keto. Even, I think it was, oh my gosh, it's one of the burgers. There's like Amy and, oh my gosh, I don't remember if it was Amy Burger or not. I follow too many people with the same names or similar names. Okay, so if you just go to YouTube or go to the web, any, you know, web page and just type in Mediterranean Keto Diet List, even Thomas DeLowry has a video on the Mediterranean Keto. So the goal is, is lean meats. Okay, we're going with lean meats. Even I did a video um, a couple of days ago with a little list. Um, you pick all lean cut meats, period. You cut all fat off, preferably eat poultry or chicken. You can have prosciutto and ham and, and that kind of stuff if you want to make it a dirty version of it. Um, and you can do the cheeses and the olives. But remember, you wanna keep as much as possible, you want to make it more all lean meats, 
vegetables, olive oils, avocado oils, some butter, little bits of cheese, a little bit of cream, teeny bits of nuts, um, avocados. Some people do berries, some do not allow berries. I'm allergic to avocados and I'm not allowing, I'm not putting berries, I'm not putting nuts, I'm not putting any of the processed meats at all. So I'm sticking to the keto list of vegetables and lean cuts. And hopefully I can add in some tomatoes. And when I get my goal, I've already decided I will probably be the Mediterranean version keto because it is everything I love the most. And I do not handle fat, fatty meats. It makes me very sick. Um, so that's the way I'm going to end up being. So remember if you're new to keto, no two bodies are the same. We all come with different medical history, family history, genes, stress levels, sleep levels. We are all 100% different. And you might have to change the way you do it over and over again if you have a lot of weight to lose like I have. Um, and everyone has can do it different. Go watch Keto Diamond. I She can do the high calories, the higher fat, the... Um, low sugar ketchups, you know, like, or organic ketchups, like, she can do so much that I can't, and I so wish I could, um, so if you're that type, her channel is amazing for you, too, because you're gonna get all kind of stuff, um, losing with Drea is doing it with the whole, like, she's having issues with vegetables, like I was, so she's doing a lot more meat stuff, um, then we have Life Adventures in Keto, and she's doing Dr. Eric Westman's version, which I have done myself, and it did work for me until I started having stomach issues, and I couldn't eat 90% of the stuff on that list. Otherwise, that's a pretty easy list. You don't need an app or anything. It literally says two cups of this, one cup of that, six olives. You know, it literally tells you. Um, so you don't mess up because their focus on that one is you don't add fats in you eat the fat That's on the meat and stuff, but you don't add it in so it's kind of like Mediterranean And literally you get six olives because anymore is going to be too high of fat and too ever carbs for you for the day um, Then you have princess ninja and keto she has to count everything and pay attention and she does a lot of exercising walking type stuff um, and I've just really started the pool exercises and different things and virtual boxing sometimes. Like, I mix up my exercising. I'm trying to do a bicycle outside now. I don't get the exercising every day because I have fibromyalgia and some days are really bad for me. Um, oh my gosh. Let's be honest. There are so many YouTubers out there and we all do it a different way. And you can look up any of them and see everyone's journey and you can get advice from all of us and see what works for you because that's the thing people would yell at me right now saying carrots and stuff is not keto it'll raise your blood sugars however i'm in extremely high ketosis that i've been in for over two plus weeks now and it ain't dropping like it's getting better and better not worse and like I woke up at 77 blood sugars and I did not before when I was eating all the fats believe it or not my body needs to not have all the extra fats my blood sugars raise my ketones drop when I add fat to my diet weird huh because they tell you to eat fat to get all those numbers to let your blood sugar go down and your um ketones will go up but not for me if I eat all that fat it's the opposite Maybe when I hit my goal, it'll be different, but this is how I have to do it right now. So that's why I'm working with. So I'm crazy excited. I'm not going to keep dogging. I want to go take some pictures to add into that slideshow that I showed y'all because I'm not finished with it yet. <laughs> so, um, yeah, ask whatever questions you want. Say whatever you want. I'm just, no one can burst my bubble. Like I get hate and I usually don't put hate comments in there, but let me tell you, Mm -mm. I'm feeling really proud of myself and really friggin' cute. So, uh, yeah. I don't know what the scale will do tomorrow. We will see. I'm going to show you my dinner in a minute, and I'll probably do a closing at the end of this video. I just wanted to share one of the most happiest moments of my whole weight loss journey with y'all. And 
I'm just so, so proud of myself right now and just completely, completely in shock. And this year has gone pretty bad for most people in the world. And to have moments like this where you can have joy even when the world is falling apart around you, that's what we got to live for. Those small moments. Uh, of course, this is a huge moment that's taken me some time to get to because I was stalled for almost a year. Like the first year, I lost 120 pounds. The second year, I did manage to lose 61 pounds. Um, and then I gained back, though. Um, and now this year, I've get lost... Well, I've lost a lot this year because I gained so much of it back. Um, and that was that was because of a thing called the pandemic who took my meats away. And I gained over 20 to 223 pounds. And now I'm 184. So that is a huge weight loss. Almost 40 something pounds weight loss um, since the 1st of April. So I'm happy with that number. I'm happy when the win that 184. <sighs> and tomorrow I get to go to the doctor and prove him wrong. Because he'll finally look at my test results that I've already looked at that said uh, all my numbers are perfect. Cholesterol, triglycerides, everything you can think of. Uh, not only will we be going over those, he said it would be bad because I'm on keto. But now, not only he see me lose those 180-something pounds, but it was never good enough for him. But he's going to see that I lost all that weight in a month. Like, it's been a month since I was there. And he's going to see how much weight I've lost and be completely in shock. So, yeah. I can't wait for that part tomorrow. I kind of like uh, rubbing keto in with doctors who don't agree with it. I know, I'm terrible. Okay, I'm gonna go make my dinner and I will talk to y'all later. So this is one of the tank tops you saw me in in the clips. Um, in those clips I had already lost 100 pounds almost um, wearing this tank top because when I was 368 this was way too tiny, I couldn't get it on. This is a 4X um, and this, this is it now. Like, yeah. I could literally wrap it around me almost. Like, you guys saw what they look like in those videos. And this is what it is now. People will be like, are you in underwear or something? Like, it's so long and so huge. Like, it's insane. Okay, I recorded the other one back upside down. Um, so, I'm gonna step back and show you what, um, my pants look like now army I mean, it's the only pair i kept so here we go these were tight on me okay this is a 5x these were so so tight on me now I can put my whole body in one, one pant leg. And I have it pulled way up. Let's put it down where it belongs. But there we go. So yeah. And now I'm half the person I was. So I am crazy as I am not the cutest outfit I'm wearing right now. But this is what it looks like to have lost. 184 pounds and still got about 44 more to go. As you can see, I have stomach to go, some in my back probably. Um, definitely my thighs, I hate my thighs. <clears throat> and y'all were pointing out the other day that I don't have the loose skin like some people do mm -hmm. and that it's not that bad. Um, and you're right, because I do have a lot of fat there. So I'm gonna get lucky and not have the crazy amount of loose skin. It'll probably be like flat loose skin against my, you know, it'll still be loose. I just won't have draping loose skin, thank God. Maybe it's the amount of time. Maybe it's because I've done really higher protein keto the whole entire time. I've also taken collagen for over a year now every single day. So maybe it's my genes. I don't know. I'm just really happy today. So 
I will show y'all my dinner right now. Do an ending video. All right, it's six o'clock. I am having three and a half ounces of boneless, skinless chicken breast, two full wings, and a serving of rice cauliflower with a half a tablespoon of butter. I'm also having a collagen coffee as well. Okay, I ended up eating all my dinner. I actually got over full, um, but I always wanna make sure I get plenty of protein, and yesterday I kinda got a little under, so today I kinda upped it a little. Um, but yeah, I've had a good day. Like, when I finished recording my video, I ended up tripping over something in my bathroom and hitting my toe extremely hard on the towel like brick thing that's around my whole entire shower and now my toe is completely purple and red and bleeding and it popped hard it went the wrong way and popped very hard it's not a lot of pain hopefully I didn't break it um I don't know why that had to happen to run my day but I didn't let it I cried for a second held my breath until the pain went away and now I'm good to go um so hopefully y'all enjoyed the video and the slideshow was not too long. I think it's two minutes and something. Um, yeah, I'm really, really, really excited and happy. But I wish I didn't eat so much chicken because I feel full. My tummy is perfectly fine with cauliflower and stuff now. It's fine with the two meats. It's, I, I really want to try some seasoning. I think I'm going to try some paprika maybe next week and see what happens there or not. I don't know. I get really nervous, but I really want to try some flavoring. Um, and then the nervous part isn't because it stalls my weight loss. It's because I suffer from severe heartburn. And I've done really good this month to have zero heartburn. Um, so I'm going to shut up and we will see what happens tomorrow. Usually when I have a nice weight loss like I did today, which was a pound, um, I, for two days, I don't really lose any weight and then I start losing again and then I stall again. It's not even a stall. It's just how my body is doing this time around. So I'm crazy happy. I hope everyone had a wonderful day and I will see y'all tomorrow.